everyone, I'm Elizabeth Ryder and today I'm going to show you how to prepare raw kale for your kale salads. So a lot of people think that they don't like raw kale and I think that's because they actually just don't know how to prepare it. So here is some green curly kale. And really, if I just started eating this, it's very tough and um, the texture isn't great. So I'm going to show you guys the trick, the big magic trick, into making it taste really delicious for salads. All right, you guys, so the first thing you want to do is put your kale into a colander and wash and rinse it really well. Dirt can really get trapped inside of these leaves, so you just want to make sure it's really clean. So take my stem of kale. Now, the stem is actually quite tough, but save these if you juice because they're really great into a juicer. But just hold this stem and use your fingers and just kind of peel back and it will peel the leaves right off. And then I'm left with just the leaves. And then you can do this with a knife, but I just use my hands, you guys. And just pull it into bite-sized pieces. And again, you know, it's kind of crazy and curly, so just find that root end, or that stem end, and grab and pull. You guys see how the stem here is still kind of thick? As I'm pulling, I might just discard that as well. Because the stems really are, they're so thick, they're just not, they're just not that appetizing. But towards the top, the stem is so soft that it doesn't matter. You can do this, you guys. This would be a great thing to have your kids help you with. Great thing to have your kids help you with if you're trying to teach them more about healthy eating in the kitchen, because you don't even need a knife. But I've got this big bowl here of bite-sized pieces of kale. So again, if I try and use it in a salad like this, it's pretty tough. So here's where the really funny part comes in. I'm actually going to just get my hands in here and really work it. Obviously make sure your hands are clean. But do this for, like I said, about three minutes, two or three minutes. Some people like to put the, some olive oil and some lemon juice on before they do this, but it's not necessary. And this way you just have totally raw kale that you can make into anything during the week. And the reason we do this, you guys, is kale is just such a tough green that it needs to be broken down a little bit. And this is a way that you keep it raw, so you keep all the enzymes intact, all the good stuff. And you still make it really delicious. And it's okay to saute kale or cook with it, you know, low heat. If you're gonna put it in a soup, I would wait until the soup is fully cooked and just put a little bit in at the end and let the heat of the soup warm it through. Greens are so delicate, you guys. You don't want to cook them too much. I call it killing them. You don't want to kill your greens. So if you ever do cook with them, just a really light saute. So I've been doing that for about two minutes, and you'll see, look how much, it's, it's the same amount of kale, but look how much it's decreased in volume, just because we've massaged it, and it's really just kind of given up a little and just wilted a little bit with our hands. So now you have kale that you can keep this in the refrigerator you guys covered. And it will stay good like this for three or four days. It will start to, uh, around day four, smell very pungent. So make sure you use it up. But this is great. You can throw this in salad. You can do a dressing on top of this and eat it just this way. You can make it into anything you want. And then you have great raw kale ready to eat that actually tastes really good. So